Good afternoon YouTube. This is Jim here with East Tennessee Preparedness and today did something I've never done before. I canned sausage patties. I tried to make a video of it while I was doing it but my phone didn't want to cooperate and my other camera I'm still not smart enough to operate. So basically I got nine pounds of fresh sausage from a local farm that they processed and patted it up, browned it on each side, used a grease and lard from our fried sausage to fill the jars up with and that's about nine pounds of sausage and pressure canned it at 11 pounds of pressure for an hour and a half so it took a while I just now took them out of the pressure cooker I let that water cool off and then I'll get rid of it so basically I've been inside all day and I want to get outside and there's one of my dogs she's been outside all day because she don't like me cooking I don't guess my other puppy's out here somewhere. She got uh, spayed yesterday, so she's not feeling real good. Well, she feels okay. She's just not as hyper as she normally is. And See that? It's a beautiful day here in East Tennessee. It rained most of the day yesterday, so there she is. Hi, Rose. She's still spunky. Not, not as spunky as normal, but she'll get better in a day or so. Well, let's go check the garden. I didn't even go down there yesterday because, like I say, it rained all day. But see if I've got anything sprouting up on my first attempt at a fall garden. There she goes. Easy girl. You got stitches. Easy. That's a good girl. Can't let her in the garden with me, so she likes to run through the garden beds. And that's not good when you have vegetables planted. Green beans are still growing. Guess I'll come down tomorrow and pick some more. And maybe can those up this weekend. Last canning of the year for beans, but I don't know if you can see that, but collard greens are coming up really nice. There's another. Still getting beans, it's crazy. Still got tomatoes on the vines. I wish I'd start ripening up. Let's see. Yeah. See, I think that's cabbage, if you can see that. That is lettuce. I planted some mustard greens over here. I can barely see them coming through. I doubt you can with this phone camera, but check my jalapenos. They were still coming out the other day. Yeah, I'm still getting a few. They're little right now. Can you see that? I hope you can see that. That's better. God, I suck at being a cameraman. But, there we go. There's a couple more. So They've been really tasty this year. And, yesterday I got eight eggs. So that was a record out of ten hens. So I was pleased with that. I took the neighbor a dozen eggs when I did my walking a little while ago. So, sort of makes up for everybody hearing the rooster crow in the mornings, I guess. Keep them in the eggs, maybe they'll be happy. But nobody's complained yet. And I've got one neighbor, I really don't care if he complains or not. The no trespassing signs are for him. So the lady that lives next to me said she never hears it. So she's a nice lady. So if she's not complaining, I'm not worried. Let's check. Uh, today, already when I came out this morning, uh, and last night I had to put my muck boots on. This was a muddy mess, so I put them some more pine straw, pine needles, or whatever that crap is. I buy at Tractor Supply. But they'll kick it all down in one corner. And since they set a record yesterday with eight eggs, they got a lot of mealworms this morning. So, as you can see, I might put another thing of straw in there for them. It's still kind of muddy. Filled their food up earlier. Let's check. Five earlier. All right, three more today. Can you see them? One, two, three. These are fake eggs. I'm still got some bird poop on it. Or chicken poop, I should say. That's hard to do with one hand. Turn that back so raccoons are pretty clever. I don't want them getting in here and getting the eggs and the chickens. But eight eggs again, so that's 16 eggs in two days. 
Like I say, I have plenty. I like eggs, but I can't eat them with that pace. Apple tree, I can't really tell if it's growing or not, but I think it's looking fairly good. I've got a few blackberries, so that's what's been going on in East Tennessee. And uh, hope everything's good where you are. And how many of you were brave enough to watch the spectacle of the debate last night? It looked like a two grumpy old men hurling insults at each other. So I don't know if it changed any. If there's anybody undecided yet at this point, if it changed their minds one way or the other. But, oh well, I couldn't make it through it. I turned it off before it ended. But anyway, say hi, Graham. Everybody have a great day. Uh, Saturday's game day. Go Vols. Be still see preparedness. I'll talk to you later. Adios.